Gravitational potential energy. In this video we're going to look at gravitational potential energy and how we can use that to calculate the speed of falling objects. So here's our question. We have a roller coaster cart with a mass of a thousand kilograms and it's the top of a 50 meter roller coaster. It's about to be released. Our task is to calculate the velocity of that roller coaster after it's undergone this 50 meter drop. There are three steps in doing this. The first step is to calculate the gravitational potential energy of the roller coaster at the top of its 50 meter journey. The gravitational potential energy of the roller coaster is equal to its kinetic energy when it reaches the bottom. So the loss of gravitational potential will equal the gain in kinetic. So by the end of its journey, it'll have more kinetic energy, and that's equal to the amount of gravitational potential it used to have. The last thing we need to do is use the kinetic energy of the roller coaster to then calculate its velocity, which is what the question is asking us to do. Calculate the velocity of the roller coaster after the 50 meter drop. The first step is to calculate the gravitational potential energy of the roller coaster. This is done by taking the weight of the roller coaster and timesing it by the height difference. So from where it starts to where it finishes, that's our height. Um, the weight of the roller coaster isn't equal to its mass. So it says in the question, the mass of the roller coaster is a thousand kilograms. That's not the weight of the roller coaster. To work out weight, you have to take the mass of the roller coaster, which is a thousand kilograms, and times it by 9.8. That gives you a weight of 9,800, and the unit is newtons. Okay, so that's the weight of our roller coaster. We can then work out how much gravitational potential energy that roller coaster has. And we take the weight. 9,800 and we times that by the height difference which is 50 and that gives us a total gravitational potential energy of 490,000 joules okay so that's how much gravitational potential energy it has at the top here and it's going to drop down to this height here that's that 50 meters there Okay, we'll move on to the next part. So the loss of gravitational potential energy as the roller coaster falls is equal to its gain in kinetic energy. So it's going to lose 490,000 joules of gravitational potential energy. That means it's going to gain 490,000 joules of kinetic energy. Kinetic energy can be calculated using this formula, half times mass times velocity squared. The formula for kinetic energy includes velocity. So if we know the kinetic energy and we know the mass, we can work out the velocity of the car, which is what we're going to do now. Remembering that the kinetic energy of the cart while it, when it reaches the bottom, so around here, is 490,000 joules. So there's our formula for kinetic energy, half mv squared. Um, we can put some numbers into that. 490,000 is equal to a half times mass times velocity squared. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this half on this side. 490,000 is equal to a half of mass times velocity. So if I times everything by 2, it's going to get rid of that half. So I'm going to make that um, 980,000 joules is the mass of the cart times by its velocity squared. I'm also now going to divide by mass. I'm going to get rid of this m on this side. Um, so I'm going to divide by a thousand. The mass of the cart is a thousand. So 980 is equal to velocity squared. Because it's equal to velocity squared, I need to square root both sides. So if I square root 980, that's equal to the velocity of that car. Okay, um, so velocity of the car when it reaches the bottom is 31.3 meters per second. Here's a question for you to have a go at. 
very similar to the previous one. You have a roller coaster cart, except this time its mass is 800 kilograms and it's at the top of a 30 meter roller coaster. It's about to be released. You need to calculate the velocity of the roller coaster after the 30 meter drop. So the same three steps. Start by calculating the gravitational potential energy. That's equal to the kinetic energy. Then turn the kinetic energy into the velocity. Pause the video, give it a go. I'm then going to go through each of these steps one by one. So if you need to listen to a step to get a little bit of a clue as to what you need to do, please do pause the video and then try and work it out. The first step in the process is to calculate the gravitational potential energy of the roller coaster. So gravitational potential energy is equal to the weight of the object multiplied by the distance it's above the ground or the change in distance. Um, we haven't been given the weight, we've been given the mass. Mass and weight are different things so we need to turn the mass into weight um, and we do that by taking the mass which is 800 and we multiply that by our sort of constant to turn it into weight which is 9.8. When we do that we get a weight of 7840 newtons. We can then put that into our GPE equation. So we take the weight, 7840, and we multiply that by the distance, which is 30 meters. That's how far the roller coaster is going to drop. And that works out at 235,200 joules. That's how much gravitational potential energy the roller coaster has for this drop of 30 meters. Next thing we need to think about is that that 235,200 joules of gravitational potential energy is how much kinetic energy the car will have at the bottom of its journey. So it's got that as potential energy. As soon as it re it's released, it turns into kinetic energy and then it will have the same amount of kinetic energy at the bottom, this 235,200 joules. So we can then use the kinetic energy formula, a half times mass times velocity squared, to work out the velocity. So you know what the kinetic energy is. You know what the mass is, it's 800. You need to find out what this velocity is. Okay, pause the video, see if you can give that a go. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this a half. We're trying to find out what velocity is, we want to get everything else away from this side over to this side. So to get rid of the half on the right hand side I'm going to multiply everything by 2. So that will work out at 470,400 joules. That's going to equal mass times velocity and velocity is squared. We're going to get rid of the mass. The mass of the car as we know from the question is 800 kilograms. So I'm going to tie or oh, sorry divide everything by 800. So if I divide by 800 here, I get rid of that from there. I also get rid of it from here. So when I divide by 800, I get 500 and 88 is equal to velocity squared. I want velocity on its own, I don't want it squared, so I'm going to square root everything, square root 588 and velocity, and that tells me that the velocity of the car, when I do the square root of 588, that works out at 24.2 meters per second. There's going to be another question coming up, so again listen to the question and then pause the video. So this time you've got a roller coaster cart with a mass of 1,200 kilograms and it's at the top of a 60 meter roller coaster. So high roller coaster, bigger mass of cart. It's about to be released, you need to calculate again the velocity of the roller coaster after it's dropped these 60 meters. Remember your three steps. Gravitational potential energy is weight times height and this weight is the mass times by 9.8 
Okay, then you need to rearrange kinetic energy, which is a half mv squared, to get velocity on its own. Exactly the same process. Look back over the previous question if you're not sure what to do, then give it a go. Pause the video and I'll go through the answer really quickly. So, our question then roller coaster cart has a mass of 1200 kilograms, so its weight will be that times by 9.8 that tells us that it has a weight of 760 newtons to work out its gravitational potential energy you then take that weight and you multiply it by the height which is 60 that gives us an answer of 705,600 joules that's how much gravitational potential energy the object has. That will turn into, that will transform into kinetic energy by the time it reaches the bottom of the roller coaster. So it's got that much um, GPE, that's going to change it to kinetic energy by the bottom. We now need to work out what the velocity is. So 705,600 is equal to the kinetic energy, which is a half mv squared, and then multiplied together going to get rid of the half first so I'm going to times everything by 2 that gives me 1,411,200 is equal to the mass of the car times by its velocity squared I'm going to get rid of the mass 1,200 so mass equals 1,200 kilograms to get rid of the mass I'm going to divide by 1,200 on both sides so v squared will then equal 1176 because it's v squared I need to square root so I'm going to square root that answer to give me 34.3 meters per second and that's equal to the velocity which is what we want to answer the question Okay, here are two more questions for you to have a go at, um, except this time we've got different circumstances, although the process is exactly the same. If you've got to work out the velocity, you've got to use the gravitational potential energy, work out the kinetic energy, and then find the velocity.